information. You should know that they uh, need a full, uh, complete truth, true and uh, uh, reliable information uh, at at the at the right time, on time. Thank you very much, Irina. We also have Ilma uh, to comment and Genevieve, please. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, I welcome all the people that are listening to us and try to speak, but <laughs> with no result. Uh, I have, uh, I know we are not uh, asking the questions here, but the questions should be asked. But still, um, I see that Anne McLaglan uh, is part of the people connected with us. And uh, as it is uh, uh, an ongoing problem to get the interest of the journalists, and, and uh, we know they have a lot of constraints, we know that the moment, uh, and the big public, the moment you feel concerned with a, pro a problem, you, you, you take an interest in it. And let's simply say a simple example, if you are pregnant, suddenly you start to take an interest in everything that concerns pregnancy. The moment you are not pregnant, or you don't even think of it, uh, it doesn't interest you for in the least. So this is a positive input. So, um, and uh, that's why I am a big believer that uh, education programs, it's a long-term project, uh, is the origin of uh, having uh, the big public giving them a sort of common knowledge over the years. If you start primary school, high school, it should be regular, not only primary school and nothing, but primary school, high school, uh, uh, universities. But to get the nations to do that, that will be another another problem, I guess, um, is the only, for me, the only way, I don't know how the others feel, um, to, to reach out to the big public and, and to get somewhere, but over years. It's not uh, in 24 hours. Um, but concerning the, the, the constraints for, for journalists, who are also part of the big public, I would like to have a comment, if she listens to us, of Anne McLaglan, how uh, we possibly can increase this outreach to, to the media. Thank you very much. And Genevieve, you would like also, please. Perhaps Mr. Bordeaux can put some comment in the the paper, we do something with the uh, hundred children. We we let them measure the rat down in the house. So they were concerned by them felt They were very close of the situation. It was rat down in the house. And after that, we uh, inform the journalist, the local journalist of this experience, and the newspaper come to uh, ask questions to these uh, young people. And after I was invited by the regional TV in order to explain what was Radon. So it's another way to manage things if you find some uh, uh, situation very close from people and uh, if you can, uh, and if it's a specific situation in a specific region, you can. Uh, it's not national journalists, but local journalists can be interested by that. And uh, it was a success for us. I don't know if Mr. Baudois want to ask to say more, because he was also in contact with his journalist. Genevieve, at the same time, you underline what my statement, that people only show up or, or take an, an interest in the matter if they feel personally concerned. <laughs> Well, say something in school context, direct measurement, for example, radon, give good result on awareness and trustfulness. Yes, I also read this comment, and uh, it, it, I agree very much because, but we also uh, need to know that uh, this uh, 
uh, uh, topics which will which also shown by our investigation on mental models people perceive a kind of uh, differently a natural natural radiation so it has it, they have a different attitude no, no, no. toward that this is something normal we are used to that and they are not so much concerned as uh, with uh, those uh, aspect of ionizing radiation which are produced uh, artificially. Marin wants to comment, please. Uh, I, w I want to add uh, more related to the interest of uh, media to discuss uh, about nuclear issues. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember the discussion with Romanian journalists and they recognize a strong impact of um, editorial policy editorial policy in each uh, uh, newspaper, in each journal, in each uh, TV channel is uh, very dependent on the level of audience. Uh, commercial channel want a very clear audience. They don't want to inform people about the general aspect. Thus, uh, uh, my idea is uh, the, the sources of information must produce news if they are able to produce news, for example, uh, news related to uh, events that uh, happen. For example, there are three years from Fukushima. You, you can use this uh, event to, to introduce in the media important debate, or, or there are uh, some years from the, the discovering of radioactivity, or something happened uh, in uh, national nuclear policy. For example, in a um, uh, new generation of uh, medical investigation devices, uh, if, if uh, the authorities, if uh, doctors can introduce some, some elements in, in, in the media, uh, people can, can uh, have access to such uh, information. If not, only uh, public channel like uh, government financing, uh, financed channel, can support some general information, not commercial uh, commercial channel. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, the, the, the media is dominated at the moment by, by commercial, not by the national channels. Thank you very much for this comment. And 